this might be Mark Kelly's album in a lot of ways because the more I talk about it, the more I talk about where it's come from. The more I keep going, oh, well, Mark had these chords and then Mark had this and Mark had that. Mark, I mean, Mark, I think is just, um, he's brilliant at, at getting a piece of music and, and, and putting some great arrangements to it and his sounds. I really are the sounds that can't be made. I mean, they are. He, he's just, he comes up with uh, stuff you just wouldn't dream of. Steve does his thing in the corner, you know. He's, he's all about inspiration, Steve. Well, I've never seen Steve Rothery so positive and so enthusiastic about, about uh, an album. Pete's turned in some great, some, some great performances on, on the bass as he usually does and then he's he's been running in and out with uh, backing vocals and choirs and things things I don't even know are on the record yet so he's been he's been very busy. Pete has just been Pete he always gives a hundred percent to everything he does really and um, and then if if he's got a day off he'll go and do an album with someone else. You know, he's a 24-hour musician. And, uh, and Ian's been here, and I don't, I don't know what, what can you say about I mean, they do what they do, don't they? And uh, we, all, we all do what we do. He's pro Steve has probably got the hardest job of, of anyone. I mean, one, he's, he's at the front of the stage. He's got to sing the lyrics. He's got to believe in them, and, and he, he has to feel that everything he's doing is honest. And um, I think he's just done as usual here and he's given it his whole heart and soul and Mike Hunter he's just um, superhuman I, I don't know how he's uh, not in a loony bin and, and Mike's just worked so tirelessly superhuman effort for many many years on this album um, and I just don't know how he does it I think uh, at times it's been close to the edge I think we can have that effect on people. I think no matter how much energy they start out with, <laughs> kind of, there's a frustration that comes from working with people who can only work at one speed. Really, it's a, it feels like a real band record. This, um, you know, there's, there's moments where people bring in, bring in ideas like, like, you know, Steve will have a section on on, on piano, or or there'll be a, uh, a section that Mark's written on keys, or, or I've written uh, on on the guitar, but. It's, it's what we all do with those sections that, that make, makes it come alive and makes it special. Um, and, and just so sometimes the moments of inspiration that happens, either between the five of us, or sometimes maybe it's just Mark and I working together, or Pete and I, or, you know, you, ha you have this chemistry that is unlike anything else I've, I've ever experienced. Um, when, when the creative juices are flowing, then it's, it's a truly magical thing. What's great about what we do is that we all allow everybody the freedom to just, you know, come up with amazing stuff and, and really bring it to a place where nobody, no, none of our, you know, none of the individuals would have been able to take it there. And then we've got Mike as well, and Mike has been very involved in this album. <laughs> stress the importance of, of Mike in in pulling all this together. I mean, he's nearly killed himself um, moving moving all of these ideas forward, and he's he's provided so many great ideas and bits of inspiration. It really has been a, a six six guys, you know, been 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 involved in in making this record, not not just five. Um, but I have no idea in what order it, it all happened. It's all just a, a mush in my head. Some of us have died for death, freedom. Well, I've got a theory with the album process. And I don't know if it's going to come to fruition or not, but um, I joined the band 
originally on their second album, Fugazi. And it was really good fun. Um, we all got to know each other. And then the third album was the, the really successful one, Misplaced. Steve Hogarth joined the band. And when he joined the band, we'd, we'd um, written most of the music for that album for Season's End. And it was all quite a quick process, actually recording that album. The second album with Steve was Holidays. And it was the first time that we, five of us sat in a room and we had a blank canvas and we were starting from, you know, we were really starting from scratch. And um, it was really difficult because we hadn't really grown together as a band. Then the third album with, with Steve was Brave. And at that point, that's when I felt like we'd really come together as a band, as a real band again, and we were all on the same course. So, um, so I think this is our third album with Mike. Somewhere else, Happiness is the Road. And now we're on this one, and I, I don't know, I think it's just got a great, there's a feel about it. Um, but I think we're all on the same, same route again. I, I said to everyone at the beginning of this year that I think this is going to be a really special record. We've gone somewhere else again, I think, um, with, with, these, with these songs. They're, they're very interesting pieces of music. I mean, it's nice that this album has so much diversity on it. Every song has its very much its own identity, but is so strong that it doesn't need, you know, the, the tracks don't need to be married to anything else because they're, they're just so strong on their own. At the moment, the way I feel about the album is that it's, it's quite diverse. It's, it's, I think, from track to track, they're all very different. But there's something about the, the album as a whole that is, just feels really complete. Well, it's deep, it's extremely emotive. I haven't met anyone yet who's listened to, 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 to these, this collection of songs without, without shedding a tear. I think people will, will definitely hear it's moved, moved forward in the sense that starting with Gaza, I think that track um, will definitely make them go, wow, is this Marillion? You know, um, I think in some ways it's, it, it's quite challenging musically and lyrically, but also I think um, it, it definitely, um, we're, we're doing stuff that we haven't done before. For me what's great is that I still feel like we're, we're moving forward and that we're progressing and that we're not just writing the same album every time. I really feel like we are, you know, we're, we're pushing ourselves. It's been made with love and hope and honesty and integrity. Those are the, you know, all the good things that people should be standing for. Yeah,